Michael, does Saturday's performance give you the, the basis to go off to, to, to try and get something on tomorrow as well? I think it does. I think it gives lads plenty of confidence that the um, can compete with the, the so-called sort of big dogs this season in terms of uh, size of the club or money being spent. Um, Port Saturday were excellent. Um, you know, they, they pretty much scored with their first opportunity. Uh, it was a little bit fortuitous, uh, to say the least, as well. But, um, yeah, for us to have to sort of deal with a little bit of a spell for 10 minutes after that, but then come strong again and, and play as well as we what did as a whole throughout the game gives us great confidence. Wigan's front four is certainly a, a, a handful. Which of those would you like to have in your team? To be fair, Rob, I think all four of them are obviously got great experience, whether it be the championship or playing at the, the top end of this league for God knows how many years. Um, and obviously, it's not just a, a situation where, you know, do they run in behind? Do they, have they got soft feet? Can they deal with the ball? Are they good in the air? They've got a little bit of everything. So, um, yeah, we, we, we know we, we've got a, a bit of a job on our hands. But I think, like I say, Saturday sort of proved that we're more than capable on certainly on our day of, uh, of competing and, and beating anyone. Um, Liam Richardson obviously made the move from being Portland's assistant to, to becoming a manager. You kind of did that a bit later on in your career, going back from being an assistant to a manager. How difficult is it to make that decision and make that choice of, of making that move? I think obviously last time I did it, it was very easy because obviously when I left, left, left Oxford... Yeah, I, I went there to obviously be assistant manager with Craig and, you know, it was in the Premier League. So it was an opportunity to, to, to work back in the Premier League, which I did, you know, many, many years ago. So I always knew probably that I'd go back into management. It's just as and when. Um, and I feel quite lucky that I do feel I'm the type of person who can do both roles quite comfortably and switch on to the responsibilities that's needed in both of those roles. But... From Liam's point of view, it would have been a big decision because obviously he had a lot of success with Paul um, for a number of years at different clubs. Um, but clearly, you know, there was a belief at the club that if they could get themselves out of trouble, he must have had a good relationship with the owners um, and felt that he had a good opportunity. And listen, so far, so good. You know, they've been able to, to spend quite a lot of money and invest that money wisely to try and get themselves out of this league. Injury-wise, any problems for tomorrow? Um, no, no, no sort of major issues. I suppose the one that we've got to sort of have a look at really is Adam Jackson, just because obviously there's another game Saturday. Um, and, you know, with the injuries to Joe, obviously we're, we're a little bit short in that area again. So, um, apart from that, we, we, we should be okay.